Hey dorks, how's it going? Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday? It's a Monday. I don't know if it's happy, but it's a Monday. It's on Chowder. It's time for Timberborn. It's time for more beavers. Hooray for beavers. I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I will... Sound settings are so finicky, aren't they? I have some more fiddling to do, I think. Um, even though it's it's awfully close, but jeez. Always just a little bit off. I've also also been fiddling with my arm and stuff, so now I can like I can actually I can like lean back. Oh, it comes all the way back here now. Look at that. Look at that. And I can just now I can come up here. Hooray. That's what I did today. <laughs> um and and I kicked out the cat like three times. And here's the fourth. Hooray, let's go! Go! Oh, she's just been... just been a total bane today. She's having a Monday. Creature's having a, a case of the Mondays. Um, but yeah, uh, here... here we are. Here... here... here we are. Um, let's... let's play Dimmerborn. Let's play with our weavers. Um, I don't know. Today, I don't. I got nothing smart to say. Today's episode is brought to you by bees. Thank you, bees. Bees are lovely. But also by you, clicking those buttons down there, hanging out, uh, following, liking, whatever all those buttons are. They're good. I like. I like it when people push my buttons. Uh, and that's and that's that's what's pollinating my flowers these days. So thank you, thank you for everyone who does that. And. Hopefully this all kind of just works, right? Can I just continue? I think it looks like sound is working. Looks like hopefully video will be working. I'm like more off center for my camera. Whatever, it's fine. Everything's fine. Absolutely everything is fine. Right? Yeah. Well, mm, don't free don't freeze on me. Don't crash on me, Timberborn. Timberborn. Uh, today. I mean, what are the plans for today? Today, I think we're gonna start a third district because we have our first two districts kind of well established, but we still haven't even touched like wheat and and those crops. Um, but our our other two districts are doing quite well. Yeah, here we are. Um, let me just unpause here. We got all these windmills. We got all these batteries. Our batteries are, are holding up now, right? Yeah, that's all looking good. Um, of course, no one's actually using any power right now. And we're working on robots. And you're starving. Why? Why are you starving? We have food. Uh, we have 700 food in this district. And we have 600 food in that district. Of course, it's different food. Still kind of working to um, make sure the food gets balanced between the two districts. But generally speaking, they are, they're they're not starving. Uh, we have logs, we have water, we have food. We have the, we have the essentials, I think. Uh, we have a holding vat of maple syrup here, plus our pine resin and our chestnuts. Very, very cool. Yeah, okay. And our giant tree farm. Doing great. And then our spatter dock and cattail farms. Also doing great. Is this? This needs to come down. And this. Good. And like our, our reservoir is good, right? Yeah, look at all that. Nice deep reservoir. Very good. And then and we're still short on workers, aren't we? We have so in this district we have 102 beavers. We have 24 children and 12 robots. Holy cow! But that's still nine free beds and seven vacancies. And then over here, I think we have what 16 unemployed beavers. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take some of those and I'm just gonna I'm gonna migrate 10 or so 
District 1 to District 2. Now we have zero vacancies. We have seven bot vacancies because I have bots in here. I have bots in here. We're going to keep making more bots. So that's going to be fine. We have bots on this side. Okay. I think, I think that's okay. And then over here, we still have idle beavers and now we have vacancies. Or uh, free beds, I should say. So that's, that's all good. Everything here looks good. Um, one thing I want to pay attention to today is the well-being of this, these two districts. Um, I've focused a lot on getting our our wood, or uh, uh, you know, food and wood and water and that kind of stuff going. But uh, other than that, like I don't, there's a lot of the well-being items that we don't have here. So, oh, did I? Have I already disconnected and come back again? Goodness. Goodness, goodness. Um, so, with that in mind, oh, we got carousels and dance halls. Oh, we could do dance halls. We should definitely do, let's do dance halls today. Let's do dance halls and carousels. And we have a drought coming. Um, we'll work towards a mud bath, but that's gonna take like, we're gonna have to acquire dirt. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be its own thing and then like decorations and stuff. We should let yeah, let's 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 beautify Hammocks Oh, the hammocks are new That's new Let's just unlock all of this lanterns. Holy cow. There's some new decorative stuff in here Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's make everything pretty today We have so much <laughs> we have so much research we can just just do the whole thing bulletin poll oh yeah okay aesthetics bulletin poll oh jeez okay uh well we're gonna do all this we're gonna start with well-being and then we'll move to aesthetics i'm actually just we're just gonna unlock it why not literally no reason not to um, and then another question that I've had in my mind is regarding this. Uh, did I... there we go. I'm curious if we can get an aqueduct thing going. Um, I know that earlier we were looking at just doing like dams with levees on top and that didn't work. Um, but... The other option. No, that'll that's a thing. And then what am I looking for? This. I'm curious. If this could be so. It, this has to go on the ground. But would it let water underneath? Why can't it can't go in here? Hmm. Too far? Is that just because no one can get in there? Which I mean, like they legit can. Right? Yeah, let's... Well, they, they won't be able to get through the floodgates at least. They have to come in from this side. Let's do this. This is an experiment. Oh, you need to go away too. Yeah. And then that, that gives them access down underneath. Go like that. And then I guess we have to go up this well. Like that. And then we can go like this. And then still says too far. Well, I guess those those stairs aren't built yet. What I'm curious is 
Can I build this down here and then put levees on top of it and make a little aqueduct? Can I? The answer is I don't know. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know. So I'm going to place that there. All right. But it would have to be like, we need like two. I have to do like this and this. I guess I kind of want it over one, right? Just for the sake of being symmetrical. I can do that and that. And then we would have to like demolish some of this so that we could actually fit these in here. But if we can place that and then I do levees on top, I can't. I You just can't. You just can't. OK, the answer is no. No aqueducts. Maybe someday. That means I'm not I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop worrying about it. worrying about it. Uh, and that can that can stay whatever. That's all fine. So. That being said, I want to find, so we have a couple of well-being buildings that will need water, right? Showers. I took out the showers from the reservoir. Um, and then, so showers and a Lido we're going to need over here. Those are the two main things. I'm tempted to put it over here somewhere. We could have, we do like, um, no, I want, I do like this. Because now that we have these floodgates here, we can keep this uh, maintained as, as good water. Yeah, what if I do this and then we'll do a handful of showers? And then we'll just do platforms all along here. I guess we could just do a stair right there. And then bath. And then there. That's that stuff, right? Could be plenty of water. Now we have a drought incoming, but I don't really need to do anything for that, I don't think. So 10 injured beavers. I don't know why they are so more prone to injury now than they were before. Very, very strange. Um, and then, yeah, so, and we have a Lido up here, right? And we have showers here for our first district, so that's all good. Kind of want to make sure that both these districts have, have all the stuff. Uh, so, campfire, right? We have a campfire there, we have a campfire there. We have a rooftop terrace there and there. We have teeth grindstone there and there. We have showers, we have medical beds. We do have medical beds. No one gets injured in this district because they're not doing heavy machinery or whatever. Um, contemplation spots. I think I tucked one in here, right? And there's one contemplation spot, but it's got, it has a beaver in it. Yeah, they're just kind of, but it seems fine. Not not fully packed all the time. Um, and I don't know if I have one in here. I have a temple, obviously. I think, I think we need a contemplation spot in here somewhere. 
Maybe maybe like a pair for each of these housing districts. Put something like this, and then this road can come out like this. Why not? Uh, and then, and then I would put another contemplation spot in over here somewhere. Maybe over on this side. Maybe like right, right there. Even do, do like this. Okay, so there's more. We can put a bit more little one tile things in there. Um, so then, yeah, okay, and then, and then we need a temple, right? Or an agora, as they are called now. Could just blob it right there, holy cow. Almost like I did that on purpose. I think that, I think that's gonna work, actually. I think having it right by the housing makes sense. Or no. Oh, it just barely doesn't fit. Okay. Hmm. Well, act, well, we can we can get in there. We can we can squeeze. Let's do an agora. Then we'll just do a little platform like that. And then a little warehouse. Or the whatchamacallit? Is it extract? It is extract. Which is uh, not a warehouse thing. It is a ink thing. And it's right there, and then this will obtain. And that'll be good. So now both districts have an Agora. Both have a Leto. Uh, we only have one Herbalist, but we're taking the Antidote over here, right? We got a... yeah, we have an Antidote Vat. We have an Agora. So a Carousel and Dance Hall. Carousel and dance hall. I think those are going to be the two next things, and both those require power. Or the carousel does, the dance hall does not. We can just put a dance hall somewhere. Where do we put a dance hall? Is that going to be like down here? I mean, it could go right there. I think that makes sense. We have all those things. And then the carousel goes somewhere that we can access power. Which isn't that hard because we have power over here. So we could do really anything in here. All this does this have a different footprint now? This looks different. You get in off of the you get on like the second floor now. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, we could kind of put this up in the air. We could do we could do a little platform situation. I do like that. So it needs to it needs to be here, but it doesn't need all of the. Okay, okay, okay. And then the entrance is like over here, and I wanted to I wanted to mess with this anyway, so let's take this out. Make sure to put in 
contamination barrier right there. And then... How do I want to do this? Let's do like that, and then that, and then that. And then we just need... Right. Looks right. Like that. Why not? Then we have our... These are our imported foods, right? Grilled potatoes and carrots. Go right there. And then our other food things are still just kind of everywhere. There's our cattail crackers. Um, our... Our spatter dock is there. All the raw cattails are there. Kind of tempted to put in... Just like a handful of small warehouses for all of the food types, just right in here. There's taters. We have cattail crackers. Are we bringing... I don't need gears over here anymore, do I? Because we're making gears on both sides. That gears? Yeah, so let's take... So this is going to empty. And then, what's the other thing we're making? We're doing cattail crackers. And, and grilled chestnuts, I guess. Right, grilled chestnuts. And then spatter dock. I guess so I'm gonna bring I'm gonna have this be grilled spatter dock instead. Uh right, and this will and then these are or these just do their own thing. They're just gonna do their own thing, that's fine. And then logs don't really need to be here, right? Logs are, are fine on both sides to to a large degree. And metal blocks for that matter. I'm going to leave those. There's other gears. Now that we have robo haulers in here, I don't feel the need to keep as many workshops in here, but obviously like the food I want in here, I think. This is nothing currently, but we're only doing we're only doing carrots and potatoes on this side. I guess also blueberries, but does anyone does anyone care about blueberries? Oh, you're a robot. You're not gonna tell me. Uh where is everyone? You're also a robot. You. So yeah, they don't have a specific well-being thing for for blueberries. Sunflower seeds, though. Interesting. Where do you get... We haven't been doing sunflowers. I don't think I've ever done sunflowers. Sunflowers. Oh, is that... Is that what dandelions are now? No, these are dandelions. Okay. Uh, we should do sunflowers at some point. So sunflowers and wheat. Those are our two our two crops that are left. Um and then and then yeah. I'm just gonna say this doesn't have anything. It's just gonna be just gonna be empty for now. Then, what do I want to do? I think I want to do just like a, a whole bunch of little of little warehouses. Maybe something like... I'm 
many crops do we have? Well, I guess how many crops are there total? There's carrots, sunflower seeds, taters, chestnuts, spatter dock, bread, cattail crackers, and maple pastry. So eight, eight food types. So if I did... Did I... Yeah, okay. Like that? And then we'll say this is for... Carrots. This is for... Cattail crackers. This is for... Grilled chestnuts. This is for grilled potatoes. This is for grilled spatter duck. And then we'll have, you know, maple pastries. Yay, there we go. And sunflower seeds. And bread. So obviously some of those won't be able to get anything for a little bit. Uh, but these are all going to obtain. Average is up to 20. So now they will have they have food, water, antidote, and and activities. Yeah, look at our dance hall. Look at that. Oh, that's glorious. It's got like a gramophone in the back. Oh, and like all the corners. Or just the two next one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh man. How many can they can fit so many dance this dance hall can fit so many beavers in it. Come on, don't just stand there like some iron teeth bore. It's true. Okay. Well, that'll help. Um, I guess we need a... I guess dance hall and carousel. Um, on the other district, but let's... Right, yeah, those, so those three don't have anything. Grilled chestnuts, we, we should have grilled chestnuts. They're just way the heck over here. Or no, those are the, those are the raw chestnuts. Of which we have none. And then... This is the... No? Uh, right there. Grilled chestnut. Okay, so we're just... We have just grilled all our chestnuts. Um, and that's all these, right? So every eight days we will get three chestnuts. From each of these trees. Definitely fine on maple. Oh my god. Okay, well that's fine. That is fine. Oh, and then and then we have to power the carousel, of course. Of course, I need to put it up on a platform. We do like this, right? And then I can come down. Or just go straight across, for that matter. Uh, we have the planks. We have the planks to do that. So there's gonna be a little T junction. You go first, please. And like that. And that will be good. There they go. Holy cow. They were they were waiting in line, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, this has a smaller footprint now. I like that. A little more compact, I think. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now the same kind of thing over here. I want to make sure that all of our food is over here. We already have spatter dock and cattail and carrot. Um, so the other five, I guess. Can I 
and berry. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So then, all right, we have spatter dock and crackers and carrots. So taters need to get a little closer. All um, right, old potatoes. And then, so we have, so berries are fine. Uh, bread will happen eventually. Carrots are right here. Crackers are right here. Chestnuts. Yeah. And then... And then it's the, the other two. Yeah, okay. And these will all obtain... Now they just need... A carousel. Power is way down here. I could route power up here, probably. Probably. essentially. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's the... Hold on. Hold on! It's the... Entrance is one up, but the path... The, the power can be on the ground. That is Except that this corner won't work. Hold on, everyone. Oh, hold on. We're all so good about making that so fast. have to do a corner and then an up. There. That's basically fine. And then and then this can just go like right here essentially. Not essentially, but exactly right there. Okay. And then I just need a little, a little stair, essentially. All right, let's turn on this side. Stair. Perfect. And then a dance hall. Ah, look at that. It... it fits. It fits. We have 35 robots. Is this full? This is... So that's full and that's full. So I have... 21 robots, right? 10 and 10. So now I'm going to take some more robots and put them over on this other side. I'm going to say like... I'm going to say like six robots are going to migrate.
Um. Right. So yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or even. I'm gonna want twenty total in District One. Just do that. And then I'm gonna switch this over to robots. So now we're... yeah, there we go. So many robots, and then our next three robots will go there. And then we'll migrate some more and fill that up, and then we'll be good. We have 50... 50 unemployed beavers. And 23 on this side and 30 on that side. Well, I guess they're even. Uh, that's fine, I guess. We have a hauling post there. We have a builder's hut there. Same thing here, right? And then these are staffed by actual beavers. I think that's good. I think that's good. I'll have to do all the, the mud bath stuff at some point. But none of that, like, takes beavers to do jobs. Okay. And then... Oh, it's gonna be the, this one. <laughs> the only one that can't get... built from there. So now it looks like you can there. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Except your oh, because it has to be in the middle. Sure, why not? Twenty one, look at that. Some happy beavers. Get rid of that one. All this water. Look at all this stuff we're making. Look at all. Look at this giant explosive pile. I'm liking this. On D1, yeah. And there we go. Yeah. Cool. A whole bunch of metal blocks. But we got metal blocks. We're good on all this stuff. We have all, got all this paper. We're good. We're good. And this is... We could probably do it with a little bit more power over here. Um, and of course I have everything... connected all weird. Let's just do... Let's just get rid of, like, these three. Just replace them with big ones. I can kind of 
prevent some weirdness, right? Twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty three. We're on a roll now. Look, and we're just cranking out robots now. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's all of our that's all of our well-being buildings except for mud bath. Yeah. I'm like, that's fine. That's fine. Are we gonna have a bunch of injured beavers over here too? I don't know what they're doing to get themselves injured so <laughs> so frequently. Uh, let's do like this. Alrighty. Um, so then there's like plenty of monuments and stuff. Do these actually do anything? Ah, And ten tiles. Probably do some of these too. Water dependent. Holy cow. Yeah, that's... That's big. Oh, it could go like... Do I make like a little do I make like a little artificial pond specifically for the fountain? That might be a thing that happens. We'll we'll blow up our we'll blow up us ourselves a little a little pond specifically for the fountain. Um, but we also have all of these uh, decorations to do. Are you injured? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put roofs on all of our housing, because I don't think we're going to do more housing in here. We have so many. We have 93 beavers. 26 of them are unemployed. I don't think we're going to be putting in much more housing in here. There's a 2x3 and a 3x2. That's kind of funny. This is, this is fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Or, or we'll put, we'll do it, we'll make it symmetrical. Do it like this. Yeah. Okay. There's roofs. Same thing over here. We, we don't need more beavers over here. We have 20 unemployed beavers. And 12 incapacitated, for whatever reason. This can... Are these are on... No. Okay. You like this? That. And then here we can do... Sure. Why not? There's like a little... If I can't put a roof here, right? I can't, but I can do... I can do there. <laughs> Why not?
You could even put roofs on like all these things, right? And you could put roof on the ground. You could just put roofs on the ground. <laughs> if you really wanted to. Uh, but then, I mean, there's like shrubs. I like the shrubs. I like shrubs. And statues, there's still statues. Yeah, within three tiles. Shrubs are within one tile. Um, hammocks need actual access. Do like hammock, hammock, hammock. Little little cliffside hammocks. And then hello, hello, hello. Been a while. Came to lurk and work. Sounds good. Uh, welcome back. Um, we are we're beautifying. We're we're making our beavers happy. Look, we're up to twenty one. We're up to twenty one average happiness. And all I did, I just gave them some some roofs and like. A dance hall. <laughs> um, so what else? We got we got some hammocks, and then I want. There's also benches, but benches don't actually do anything, do they? It doesn't say that they're actually. Like they'll use the benches, but it doesn't say that they're gonna get a, a well-being out of it. Uh, I put just like a, a couple benches there. Why not? Um, and then, and then, yeah, statues. I mean, we'll just put put down some statues. Why not? The well, shrubs have a have a stat, but hedges don't. Interesting. Oh, and the bulletin pole. The bulletin pole needs definitely needs to go somewhere somewhere in here, right? 24. Look at that. Do they only they don't need to actually like access? They don't need to access the bulletin board. They just need to be in its radius. And then that like like highlighting the these thing. I just can I put a um no I cannot. I mean, there's no, it's not asking for access or anything. Yeah, it's just, there's gonna be a bolt and pole up there. And a scarecrow? <laughs> Why not? Just anyone who walks by here is just gonna get all these aesthetics. Um, so we should fit in some things in here. Hello, hello, Fiona. How's it going? I'm making my beavers happy. Um, yeah, like, maybe another bold and pull up here? Been lurking a while, I work on job applications. Yeah, that's fair. Job applications are always great fun, aren't they? Um, but yeah, you're definitely welcome to... Well, welcome to lurk! That's what we're all here for, right? Um, and then lanterns? These are, oh, these are cool. Oh, they're like on little poles. Look at that! That's very cool. Pop one there, one there, one there, the one here. It's gonna look like a little neighborhood. Perfect. And that's so we got bolt and poles. Wind gauges don't do anything. Fences, hedges, whatever. Beaver statues we have, scarecrows we have. We have a scarecrow at least. At 25, look at that. We're doing good here. Uh, we have hammocks. 26. Shrubs? And shrubs do do stuff. Okay, so then shrubs are the last thing, I think. Just gonna just gonna fill in the rest of this. Fill in the rest of this with shrubs, really. I fit them. Nope, I can't fit them underneath there. Oh, there's like space out here too. I'm gonna put a shrub there. 
Just happy little shrubs. Okay. And they're still they're still all injured. Our 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 medical beds are just a constant revolving door of injured beavers and I don't know what to do about that. Have you been injured at work? You may be eligible for compensation. Contact Suli. Interesting. That's funny. Okay. I think that's this district kind of taken care of. And we're almost, geez, we've almost harvested all that metal there. Holy cow. Um, and then same thing over here. Now, now just the same, the same deal. I want to put this hammocks and hammocks in, in here. Um, I'm gonna do a little road like this, cause why not? Bulletin pole. Maybe on, on both sides here. Do some statues. 27. Very, very good. 28. squeeze anything in there. Even like from a from a mechanic perspective, I could just pop a statue on the ground there and it would have the effect, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on a little uh, raised spot here so that viewers can actually see it. And scarecrows. They just like to see the scarecrows. They don't actually do anything. Put a scarecrow outside the dance hall and outside the temple. Oh my, the scarecrow has a tail. I'm just now noticing the scarecrow has a tail. That's so good. That's so good. Uh, we did bulletin board, we did statue, we did scarecrow, and then lanterns. thing there and then I can put a lantern on top. Yeah look at that. Okay. They can walk under platforms with lanterns on top and that'll just that'll that'll give them happiness. You can even do another one like right here. Twenty nine Yeah, I like that. I like that. 30. Holy cow. Our beavers are being so well. And then what? And then it's just, oh, and shrub, of course. I don't have any benches either. We can do a couple benches. Cool. 
How's that for some well-being? So yeah, there's just there's a couple different food types we have left. If you haven't gone to a campfire. But not for lack of access, right? You just haven't gone. Hmm. And then yeah, shrub, lantern, roof, scarecrow, beaver statue, bulletin pole. You know, the essentials. And there's the fun things, which you have a carousel and a Lido. And we have books. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. We're making our beavers happy. I got a dance hall. Look at this. Dancing beavers. <laughs> That's a lot of beavers. You can fit a lot of beavers in here. Dancing beavers, that's a sight. I know, right? This is new. The, um, the the dance hall is new. And there's also a carousel. Got slightly reworked. It's a little bit smaller footprint now. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So I think our two districts are kind of set for the moment. I mean, yeah, I think we got, I think we got that going. And then our, our robot situation, yeah, we got, got all sorts of robots. We have, we already have that many unemployed robots. Holy cow. We have 45 robots. Oh my God, holy cow. Okay, they've been, they've been going nuts. They are working so much faster now. I'm wondering if that's just because of the well-being. Um, but, so we want at least two more over in our first district. So we have 40... We want 20 on each side, and that's going to leave five left over. So yeah, I'm going to move... I'm going to move two over. Alright, so yeah, there's... So now there's 20 in our first district. And they're all going to be hauling forever. Thank you very much. And we have... We have 20 working bots and 7 unemployed bots. So now we need, we need to find a job for 7 more bots. Well, in that case, I could just do... We just say this is also going to be a robot hauling post. So then all the hauling will be done by robots. I think I'm okay with that. Cool. That's that's that settled as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think I want to start on another another district. Oh, and this can this can all just go away. This got done. They are they're holding up, but just barely. Um. Carrying some of these down. I mean, I do want to. I don't. I want to place them, even if just because they look <laughs> nicer when they're all the same. Do a couple at a time. They could even get in here. I don't think I can even get in there. Or they could go. I need to get rid of this one. And this one. I guess. I guess. I guess that one's important too. But that'll connect them back to the batteries. Okay. So, district number three. I think I, I want to put another dis district down here. I'm going to put in a levy here. All the way along here. And then we're going to grow, uh, I guess, sunflowers and wheat in here and probably some more trees. 
So then our district center is going to be... All we could do over here... We could do... Back here? And there's this. We'll want to have access to that. We could do our district center up here. Could I build a bridge across now? Could I get a bridge across here? Now that we've researched everything? Or now that I can research everything? Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, so where's the best place for that? We could do... I don't know, something like that. Which, uh, that'll work. And then we could have another district center. Like here, I think, is too close to here. That's pretty short. Hello, hello. Welcome in. We have happy beavers. Look, we're up to 30. Or 30 in this district, at least. We were a second ago. <laughs> uh, we're hovering around 30 happiness, because I got, like, roofs and bushes and stuff. And dance halls. The only wellness being wellness buildings we're missing at this point are um, mud bath. So I'm going to work on a third district now. I'm just picking a spot for the district center. Which, I mean, there's here. This is all going to be farm. Could come back here. I don't know, maybe, maybe here is where I want to go. Because then I can also... I can also do a bridge like there, right? There's a good thing that these are the same level. Oh look, a bad tide. Hooray. Um, I mean, we could even go like back here, even? Dance hall's amazing. I know, right? Look how many beavers can fit in it. Like right now it's daytime, so now they're all working, but they can get so many beavers in here. Uh, two, four, six, eight. That's like, that's like 20 some odd beavers at a time. Um. So I think what's gonna happen, we're gonna have our district crossing over here. And then maybe we'll have our, our district center down here. I could see that working. Let me just do stairs down like this. Does it require power? The dance hall does not. The dance hall is just for dancing. And then the, the um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the, the carousel got reworked. It has a slightly different footprint now. It doesn't have that um, that big box in the back anymore. And the, the entrance is up on top now. Now as, as night falls, everyone's going to come cut a rug. Yeah, look. <laughs> Dance, my beers. Is that was that a robot? No, you're just still wearing. What do you have on your back? What is that? Is that just a hauling harness? Interesting. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holler beaver. Interesting. They just keep their harness on all day. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Uh, these will get done someday, I guess. They wear those. Interesting. Uh, so clearly we're going to have a path 
go on across like this. I'll even say like this. Uh, we're going to want to chop down. I don't even care to chop these, right? We, we're good on logs. We are, we're, we're pretty good on logs at this point. Then I think we're going to say a district center down here. Be like this. This is all going to be farm stuff. I do want like a way to get across, right? And there's like this whole crossing over here too. Fifty metal blocks for this bridge. Wow. Oh, we're coming up on a bad tide. Need to not forget about the bad tide. <laughs> not switch over all of our all of our things. Um. Oh, and we clearly we're eating all of our chestnuts. These are working. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, I think what what's gonna happen first is we're gonna have a, a path with stairs that goes down into here. So that we can access all of this. And we're gonna have to do a big old levee all the way around. Take a minute. Yeah. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Was that the song? That this <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed words in that song before. Okay, we're gonna raise that one. I'm gonna raise this one. I'm gonna raise this one. You're, you're starting off good. Yeah, we're starting off perfect. Our yeah, we're in order. Pristine one percent contamination in our reservoir. I'm gonna close this off. And then we switch this like this. On this, this needs to rate. Literally every floodgate on the map needs to be switched every time we get a bad tide. <laughs> I 
But I guess the bad tide is really what they're for, so I guess that makes sense. Bring it on, bad water. Now this is going to stay clean, so these are going to stay functioning, this, this is going to stay clean. This is all going to get nasty, but that's fine, it's just going to flow out. Yeah. Perfect. That is going to be a big levy. to build oh they're getting there this will be yeah this is like the biggest levy I've, i will have made except we're gonna want i want to make sure that this stays filled with water i guess we could just fill it manually couldn't we it's just with so much water nearby it seems silly I reroute. Could we route this river up here and then just have it come down this way instead? Except we do still want water along this side because that's what's hydrating along this plane. I think we'll. We'll try just filling this manually with like a, a pump and see if that works for us. And if not, we'll we'll change some of this around. of that was to <laughs> just have it be straight. Yeah. Hey, look. Okay. I'll get there. Yeah, this <laughs> this just doesn't last. Um, it's much less important for it to last now, but I would. I mean, that is our source of this stuff, and it's what's keeping our crops alive. just depending on it being less important than it used to be. We're up to 50 robots. 56 robots. We have six idle robots. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to migrate a handful back over. Yeah. Bring another 10 robots over. And I'm going to say that this is a robot post. Could also have robot builders. Maybe we'll have robot builders in the new district. Now we have... Yeah, now we're, now we're short for beavers. They work for 30 beavers.
right? So there's there's ten, there's ten, there's ten, there's ten. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're for fifty. We're gonna have work for sixty beavers or bots. Beaver bots. Sixty bots. We have we have planks. We have logs. I wish these builders' huts could have more than four four workers. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna do all this at least. <laughs> They'll work on all that. That's all good. We have gotten to the point where bad tides are not, like, destroying us every time. Of course, our taters. Our poor taters. Like, we shouldn't... Our first district is the least good at everything. Like this, the starting point for, like, where you start on this map is the gnarliest spot. It's growing carrots and taters. But they're the most vulnerable to droughts. And this is also the area that we have the hardest time keeping water. We could deepen, like, we could blow up another level for this whole trench here, just to make this deeper. And then it would, it would at least have water in it for longer. Like, same thing around here, just have this all be deeper. Not the worst idea. Because we have explosives. We have a whole... We have 200 explosives sitting here. And we have the extract too, right? A whole vat of extract. Yeah. Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't want this all to die. It's not nearly as important as it was to start with, but I def I don't want all like I don't want the taters to die. It died. Yeah. When all the the windmills got done, now there's only. Oh, and now some of them aren't connected. <laughs> right. And then it's just these two. Put a path down here. Let's do all this too, right? Might as well. <laughs> They're slowly working their way down. Such a chill game. What are you working on? Hello, welcome in. Um, this is a very chill game. Uh, currently, we're we're working on a third district. Um, we have two districts that are very well established at this point. Um, I have all these well-being things going in here. Here's our first district. And we're in a bad tide, so everything looks bad right now. But uh, here's our second district. Um, and yeah, I'm just I wanna I wanna populate the map. I wanna I wanna cram some beavers in here. We're up to 200 beavers. We could we could easily double that with how much space we have on this map. Um, here's my big tree farm. Um, one thing that we're not doing is we're not farming wheat or sunflowers. Um, so I'm going to turn this into a big farm here. And that's going to be what our third district is working on. 
yeah, not, nothing too complicated right now. Um, we've we've gotten through a lot of the really, uh, the really scary parts. The first <laughs> the first bad tide stream was a little scary. Uh, we did actually revert a save in the first the first bad tide that we saw actually actually killed us. Uh, but it's been a bit better since then. Just a lot of really close calls with like our food and stuff. Uh, like especially water, like. Like our first district here is not harvesting any water on its own. We're importing all of our water from our our, uh, our reservoir here. This is like this is gonna be our our entire water source for the entire map. Uh, is what's what's gonna happen. Kind of feel bad for mass die-offs in the beginning. Yeah, a little bit. I, I definitely had had that moment of, oh, there's no one left. Oh, oh, nothing's gonna happen anymore. Oh no! <laughs> uh, but we've we've avoided the worst of it. We've we've avoided some really some some of the nasty parts. So I'm happy with this so far. This is gonna take a little while to make, but that's fine. And no one wants to come and do these. No one wants to no one wants to demolish these. Oh well. Look at the dance hall. And yeah, we have 60 robots. Yeah, I would I would like these to be completed, thank you. And then I'm gonna want a hauler and a builder. I don't know where, to, where we're going to do housing. Do we do, do we like canyon housing? We could do cliff top housing. We do housing back here. We could just do housing in here. We have housing in the bottom of this canyon and have a bridge going across the top. That's kind of cool. I don't want it to be too far from the district center. I kind of like that. I kind of like up being in here because we could do like on one side and then on the other and just have a path going down the middle. I think that would work. Um, that's the hauling post. So I also want a builder's post. Multi-tiered housing stacked against a canyon wall could be cool. Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna fill. I think we're gonna fill this little canyon with housing. Uh, I'm gonna wait before I place a whole bunch of stuff down since I've I've given them some jobs to do. This is all so far away. I'm surprised at how many bots that we can have. Like we have two factories making robots and we're up to 60 total and they all expire, right? There's going to be some some break point where they're they're decaying as fast as we're making them. And I thought we would have reached it before 60 robots. There we go. Oh my gosh. How many biofuel refineries? We have one one refinery for fuel and one refinery for boost. And we have a full thing of biofuel and a full thing of catalysts. And then we're making punch cards over here. Uh, yeah, punch cards. And we're, here's all of our spatter dock. We're using spatter dock for our, for our fuel in addition to like cooking it, but spatter dock, spatter dock. Um, okay, so then I'm going to lower this. Going to switch this. I guess I want to wait for that to clear out a bit, right? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to close and lower. And 
that's good. And then definitely want to wait for this to clear out a bit. We did, jeez. We went through half of our reservoir. That's a little terrifying. That is a little scary. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. Um, I'm going to lower this. And I'll lower this. And this is that's going to stay. Thank you very much. Except we need we need the water to come in to, to like wash this out. This, this is the trick like we, the days after a a bad tide are almost trickier than the bad tide itself. Uh, but all this water's coming in. I want I want this to top up first because this can dry out. But this is looking I mean it's looking fine. Okay, so I'm going to raise this and lower this. Then hopefully we just push. Take all the bad water and push it somewhere else. Yes. That's going to take a minute. That's fine. That can go. And then they're they're working on it. They're working on it. We might we want builder bots? Right now we we like our bots are hauling almost exclusively, but now almost all of our hauling is being done by bots. Which I think is working well. Anticipating that this is just going to dry out by the time I want to use it, um, but this is going to be this is going to be an above-ground farm, not an underwater farm. I just want to keep the river out of it, essentially. We're all gonna, yeah, this will all work. This is gonna work. And hopefully they go work on these. Oh, is it because... No, I mean, they got here. I don't know why they're taking so long to cut those down. Might as well just put down... Lumberjack flags. They're going to take that long to do it. Just cut the trees, please. Oh, how many how many beavers do you think we could support on a map like this? Like that's my question right now is is what's the logical conclusion of a full map? How many beavers could be happy on a map like this? I'm guessing it's at least double what we have. We haven't done anything down here. We have... Oh, look, this all cleared out. At least 10. At least 10. <laughs> Possibly 12. Okay, so we, we went through like three quarters of our, of our reservoir. Or of our usable reservoir in that time. We could deepen this with some explosives and have like another another layer of pumps down at the bottom that only activate, you know, during droughts and such. But we'll see if that becomes necessary. Also all this. Um, I was thinking of, like, we can take this and we could close this off and divert this bad water 
off the edge of the map this way. And then... And then aside from Bad Tide, all of this would be good water all the way through here. And then here's another good water source up here. Like, we haven't done anything down here. We could we could put a whole other district down here. Look at this, and there's like a nice big pit just waiting there for us. That's a, that's a pre-made reservoir if I've ever seen one. And then all this just flows down, and then this is the, the where everything on the map leaves the map. So I, like I, we could easily fit another district down here, right? There's plenty of plenty of resources. We could probably put a bit of district down here too, depending on how sprawling we want to make them. Like over here, I'm less keen on. This area is going to be bad forever. This is the bad side of the map. But there are two. There's. There's a there's a mine there. But even then, it's not like we're hurting on metal. And then here's where we are. Now we could get a third district here, could probably get two on the other side, could probably fit another one up here even. There's all of this. There's no water back here, but we could kind of fix that to some degree. Not flowing water, but we could get little ponds. We can always cap the bad water sources. It's true. We haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I mean, I, I could. There's really nothing that prevents me, but... Uh, we have this. We have a contamination barrier around this whole thing right now, so it's, this actually isn't harming me. This is actually where I'm getting our bad water. Because uh, bad water we're using for explosives and stuff like that. So this is my like my source of bad water for the moment, uh, but you know eventually that's going to become another mechanic to play with as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's where where yeah there's these. Um, there's the bad water dome and there's the bad water rig, uh, which we haven't done yet. But like this is is just going to give us bad water, right? So it's just a different way of harvesting bad water, and then this is a way to like open and close it. But there is there is a metal there's a metal mine underneath this bad lake because of course there is. Howdy howdy hey GM how's it going? We have just completed another bad tide and we're starting a third district and I've made everything pretty. Look at all this. We have beaver statues and lamp lamp posts. And and hammocks. I want to see someone use a hammock. Can someone use a hammock, please? I want to see them there. Look. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, oh, and dance halls. You gotta see. You gotta see the dancing beavers. Now they're all going to bed. It's too late for them. Uh, but we're gonna work on a, another district over here. And this levy, the levy's done. This holding levy is done. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these paths here. I worked for Quakers in Britain, so it's a amuse, ass, assuming amusing. Yeah, yeah. Vindictive Quaker. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. And then I think this is all gonna go away. Yes, yes. I'm gonna leave this stairwell for now, but this might just become an abandoned stairwell to nothingness, because all this area is gonna be serviced by this uh, this district going forward. Oh, and you harvested all the things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can just do path. Why is this? Oh, because I have to do the district crossing, of course. 
I watched someone playing this recently. They had their first bad tide and it did not go well. I mean, if you you remember, our our first one did not go well as e either. Ours went quite poorly. If memory serves. Okay, I'm basically gonna wait for all this to dry out. It's kind of funny. But it'll get there. Now this river is gonna flow a little bit more efficiently since it's not just like flowing back into here every time. I think we're doing pretty good here. So, battery's doing good here. There's the dance hall. I just caught him at the end. <laughs> and this is all, this all got done. Still, still consuming power quite, quite intensely. Um, I do another. Do I do more? I think we're just gonna do more. Seventy-two unemployed beavers. You could set up a hamster wheel power station. It's true. Yeah, that is a lot. Jeez, they've been they've been procreating, haven't they? I guess that's just going to be people to shove into here, uh, which we're about ready to do, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I went a little overboard on the housing, but also. Whatever. We're clearly okay. And that'll all be good. Yep. Perfect, perfect. And we have... We have a bunch of logs, and then we probably have a bunch of planks too, right? Yeah, 400 planks. So I think we're, I think we're just gonna get started. <laughs> Come on, oh my god. And 70, we have like 10, 10 unemployed beaver bots now. My, my, my. Um, so we're still good on bots here. But yeah, we have 10 unemployed here. I guess we're just gonna we're gonna do over here. We're gonna have District Three is going to be built on bot labor. And I can just import those now, can't I? Let's just do right from District Two to District Three. I'm gonna take ten robots. I'm gonna say that and this. Yeah. Hello, robots. <laughs> okay. And then... But we're going to need, like... need to do the actual crossing now, don't we? Okay. We could do that. I'm going to have it be here. District crossing. We'll say there. Blam. Like that. I'm going to say this is going to be employed by robots. Uh, 
both sides have to be done individually, right? We're gonna need all the planks are gonna come from this side. Oh, oh, they're gonna work on <laughs> fine, whatever. Oh, we need fuel, of course, of course. Hold on, everyone. Um, I guess small tank has been fine for the other district. Yeah, so I'm gonna do tank, tank, warehouse. This will be for fuel. This will be for boost. This will be for punch cards. But like the primary thing is we're gonna want here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a pile for logs and a pile for, for planks. Because those are gonna be the things that we need quite a lot of. Can't get all required materials. Why not? They're all just gonna <laughs> they're all just gonna run out of fuel. Um I just need them to build that first, right? I guess let's I do that. Cause I should at least be able to build this side, right? in here Just the, the land of misfit robots milling about aimlessly over here. We have planks. We have planks. It is clearly not the problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little path in here as well. There we go. Okay, so it builds both sides. And, uh, okay, so I'm gonna... We have workers, right? <laughs> so now... Please bring... Please bring stuff. Oh, it shows up on this side. How's everyone doing? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, yeah, I guess I'm doing good. Doing good as I have been. Uh, but look, so now we're gonna have... We're importing berries, okay. We're getting fuel. That's gonna help at least. And then... Of course, now, now everyone's going to be in here. 
let's do six and then we'll do four four builder bots and that'll be how we start all right because they should just have materials incoming we have logs and planks can can the robots not build if they're not marked as builders okay let's get a couple of actual beavers in here uh we'll take i'll do five i'll do from district one probably or what who has more you have way more The district center bots will build? Oh, that's fair. Then why aren't they? Because we have building materials here. Oh, there they go. Oh, because they're building stairs. But I told... Fine. The next fest has started, so I've got demos to play between work and chores. Yeah, that's fair. Any, uh, any good demos you've seen? I haven't actually taken a look at what's in there. I mean, why is there only 90 in this district now? We didn't lose a bit, did we? In old age. Timberbot 3 has broken down, so now we are finally, like, getting rid of our our first robots. We have 70 robots. We have 71 robots. That is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. So now we have builder bots. I guess I'll say normal beavers there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. So now I want them to build that. Everything else is fine, right? There's nothing else to build down here. We have, I mean, we have 10 bots here. I'm actually going to say that this is now normal beavers and that this is going to be robots. Just do a little flop. There we go. Okay, now we can start building houses. We have we have five regular beavers and ten bots here. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do some housing. Let me just do something like this. I don't want to put too many beavers in here, right? Because as small of a space as this is, we could fit a lot of houses in here. Start with that. Because all this is going to need... Platforms? Do I have just a giant sea of scaffolding in here, or do I try to do I try to break it up a little bit? I could do like bridges too. Uh, I guess there does need to be one here. Oh, 
like that don't technically need to be there that don't technically need to be there I'm gonna say like this but that's that's ugly though <laughs> Aesthetics are important. They're important, dang it. Do like, no, make this. And then we would have this go there and this go there. And then just do like a <laughs> um a, a tiny little bridge. How can I not? Oh, I would have to do except that that wouldn't work, would it? I want like I want like two I want like two canyon walls of housing and like bridge a mishmash of bridges and and stuff going between, right? And not from an efficiency standpoint, from a this is cool beaver ship standpoint. I could do I mean there's even these little tiny ones. And then you have one here, and then and then you put something else back here. bridge like uh, like that I like that the walls are closed but you almost need two to three more blocks maybe I know right I'll I mean um we'll work within our constraints we could build back here for that matter and that's a little, it's a little far from our district center We'll see if I can get this to work. We'll see if I can make something happen here. Because then... Do we need a... Do you need a platform in front of the thing? Or can I have just a bridge go straight into... I mean, obviously I would need to do... Like this. And then this should go the other way around. I like that we can flip things now. That definitely helps. Um, but then if I say... Oh, but even then, because I would want them to continue forward. So it would just be like... Like, it's literally bridges for the sake of bridges. Can I do that? I'm gonna I'm assuming that would work. I 
And then we would have... I don't know, you do another... I mean, that'd be the obvious answer. I need you to deliver 80 pounds of wheat to District 2, Sam. <laughs> uh. What? How, how long are we waiting for Death Stranding 2? Is that, is that 2025? It's silly, but because it's even like it's not even resource efficient. <laughs> this is actual silliness, but I don't I don't care. Because then we'd have to do like that. I mean, that is pretty silly. Maybe we do it the other way around. Or you do like, we do it like this. I want like this. Put a platform here. And then houses can go. Like this. Except I was going to have that go further out. We do. single story stuff here just to get like pathing over like this kind of need like <laughs> two or three more spaces hmm. well what if we I mean we're just going we're I'm just fiddling with things at this point what if we had like housing here and housing here I can be like, or no, why didn't you fit? You do fit there. Hold. And then it's these, right? And I could even flip this one so they're right next to each other. Oop. And the same thing here. in the middle. That's a little better. And then... I guess... 
that. And then we'd have a bridge like this. And then kind of the opposite. That's kind of cool. And then how do you get from one to the other? I guess I would want this one shorter. And then put another... We'll do like this. And then we'll do like that. And like that. No, except that doesn't work. We'll say that that's fine. Like, that's not bad, right? We have go up a little bit from there. Have a couple more bridges going across above that. I don't think that's too bad. Obviously, we need, you know, some ways up. It gets awkward real fast, don't it? This is fine. This, I mean, that's that's some housing. We'll we'll start with that. We'll start with that. Really, the district center should be, be down here. Not that it really matters. It don't really. Matter. We'll just have a path that just goes through the whole thing. I think that's a start. And then we can put some like well-being stuff in here. Um, not to mention like food and junk. Uh, let's go ahead and put in our, our little mini warehouses for, for food. Even put that like over here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is for bread. This is for carrots. This crackers this is for chestnuts this is for potatoes this is for spatterdock this is for maple pastries and this is for sunflower seed half of which we don't have access to yet but there's a spot for them and we're getting a draft There's catalysts, there's punch cards, there's fuel. The robots are fine. The robots are doing just fine. There's even 
two idle robots somewhere. Not in this district. Over here. Um, well. We have here, we have 10 here. 10, 30, 73, okay. So yeah, I guess we're gonna bring three more bait, uh, robots in. And just two. They just need to <laughs> put in the stairs. <laughs> there we go. Now it's all housing. I have 37 empty beds. And we have 60 idle beavers across the map. So uh, some people are gonna move. 30 idle beavers here. And there's how many beds? There's 30. Yeah, let's move. Let's move 30 beavers. How about, how about that? That might be too much considering the food situation. Uh, go to district one. I mean, let's move 10, right? Yeah, okay. So now, and now, now food is showing up. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Easy enough. Um, I do... I'm still waiting for this to dry out. It's not going to just go on its own. Like, I can't just let it flow out, right? Because this water's higher. It's, it's awfully close, though. Um, oh, and water! We probably need water over here, don't we? Um, let's get a... Let's get a big water tank over by the housing. Water obtain. Um, and then probably also, I mean, the way we did it over here, right? We have a big tank by our housing. And then we have a big tank by the, the crossing. And all the water for District 3 is going to have to go through District 1. Unless we put up another crossing like over here. Which isn't the worst idea. What if the crossing was like, I mean, all this metal is like right exactly in the right, the wrong spot. What if it was like all three came together at like the same point? What if we had a way for this district to connect up here? This is already... I mean, this is only 43. That's actually not that bad. That's 36. I well, need, like, gears, right? So I need to actually go in and manually say, bring me some gears, please. Sorry, I didn't respond about demos. The one I was playing doesn't have a pause, I think. Hilarious. 
Um, well, this is just waiting on metal blocks. W was it good? Did it justify ignoring me? <laughs> um, this is all fine, right? Everything's is everything fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Really enjoyed it. Okay. What what was it? Godsworn. That name sounds vaguely familiar, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Um, I think I'm gonna do. Or we don't even need to do that. I can just do this, and then like that. Imagine if you took Age of Mythology and added the heroes from Warcraft 3. Hmm. I'm intrigued. And would this go up? Or we just have another crossing like down here? I think we're just gonna have a cr another crossing like right here. Or even down here. Cause that's gonna be... So this is 43, so then down here's gonna be like 60 something. Which isn't bad. Of course, like the, the water source is way the heck over on the other side. Could also do like a little a little bridge here, right? <laughs> Except that doesn't quite work. I wanna do I can do some uh, some some cheeky cliffside explosives here. What if we do Bring one, bring it down one there. And this is one, two, three, four. So I'd want to bring this down by four. Is that right? Of course, three is the max I can do. Can I do this. Not that they can get over there. The heroes in the game being Baltic gods and I think one or more angels, neat. And the novel thing where instead of training peasants, they spawn after a certain amount of time, okay. And also you control them through floating buttons more more than via micro. Huh, okay. That's kind of cool. Um, do we have... We're probably not importing dynamite, right? Um, extract and explosives, please. This is just kind of... Uh... It hurt. Okay. Explosive time! Blam, 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 blam! And then, and then blam. And then, and then one more. Did I do that right? I may have done that right. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello! Oh, hello, this Mitchell. I've seen you around in Radu streams. 
How's it going? We're we're terraforming, and we're beaverin, and we're we're milling about aimlessly. So it feels less thousand click a minute than Age of Mythology because your peasants only spawn so quickly, and resource buildings can only be built in appropriate areas. Interesting. Foresters near trees, jewelers near precious minerals. Interesting. It's great. How's the damp beavers? <laughs> They're quite damp. <laughs> um, our, we're working on our third district, um, which we're, we're just getting started on. Spent some time trying to make this look interesting, I guess. Um, we're going to do some farming out here. And this finally all dried out. So this is all going to become farmland very quickly. Yeah, third. Yeah. So here's our first. Got all sorts of well-being stuff. We got uh, carousels and dance halls. And here's our second district. Also massive. Um, here's our gigantic reservoir. Still a baby beaver. Just have the one. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I grew. We grew out of this first district very quickly on this map because uh, because this starting plateau. You start on the top of this plateau, and you have access to like nothing dance hall the dance hall is amazing look at this the dance hall is new pretty sure <laughs> just the one dancing on his own <laughs> it's so good and as soon as night falls well I'll, I'll look back one at at nightfall because it like it gets hopping and then we also have um we have an, uh, a carousel adorable it is this game is so good and then hammocks i think the hammocks are new too See if they actually do the thing do the thing oh maybe okay so now now at sundown they're all gonna show up Carousel, do beavers get sick riding it? I didn't, I don't think so. <laughs> I've, I have not seen any vomit. There's significantly less vomit in this game than in Dwarf Fortress, I will say. Hey, here they come. It's dance o'clock. <laughs> oh, and the little, the little children. It's a child beaver. They do their own dancing. I never noticed that. Cause like you, yeah, age three. Age 43, holy cow. Yeah, the little, the little beavers. They don't do anything but dance. But dad, I don't want to harvest potatoes. I just want to dance. Those are conversations that actually happen in here. <laughs> and look at this. Okay. So now... Did this get connected? This shouldn't have connected. Oh, there. That's the thing that's not connected. Okay, cool. Um, but then this... That's 38 from there. Put loose, but beavers? Yes, exactly. Put loose, but beavers. Um, oh, we're in a drought. That's why. Went to harvest potatoes. Tried growing sweet potatoes in a pot last summer, and it kind of sort of worked. That's fair. In a pot? Like just as a... Oh, like in a... Um, I'm thinking like a cooking pot. You're talking like a growing pot. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I've never tried sweet potatoes in a large pot on my patio. That makes sense. That makes more sense than what I was initially imagining. <laughs> um, we mostly have um, like herbs and uh, yeah, like uh, we have like a rosemary um, that's been doing pretty good. It's uh, it's lasted like three or four years now. Gotten kind of lucky with that one, and uh, we usually do, do like basil and thyme and things like that. Grow on stove. Place your tuber in a quart. Yeah, two quart pan. This recipe takes about six months. 
<laughs> killed all my rosemary. Oh no. I have killed two or three rosemary plants. Um, mostly due to freezes, because um, they're just in big pots as well. Um, so like a, a, like a, we'll get like one good freeze every two or three years, and that'll kill a rosemary. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some farmhouses. I want to do wheat. This district is going to be for wheat and for um, sunflower seeds. And I think maybe they can be up here. Maybe we'll do like a pair here and then a pair here. It's going to leave some. It's going to leave some on the table back here. Maybe we do like one over here and one back here. Maybe that's how we do it. I'm gonna do. I wish this was more along the, the wall there. I'm gonna change my mind on some of these. I wanna do like, like this. Nope, not you. You. And that's gonna go over this way, really. I'm just gonna go like that. I'll admit I had an immediate and horrifying mental image of the hygiene of your pots. <laughs> Only successful herb has been sage and it survives winter. Oh, nice. Um, we've done sage a couple times, but we haven't had sage that survives a winter. Uh, the, the sage has the sage has been a one and done thing so far. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do like. How do I get? How do I make this efficient? How do I? I could do like I could do a, a bridge over. I get all of that. If I do like this, or even I do, can I get one bridge over the whole thing? Not quite. But we could do. We can just have a meet in the middle, right? Is that a? Is that fair? Is that appropriate? I think that works. Not telling me no. Uh, so we'll do like. Then the others, yeah. If I want a pair of farmhouses for each of these, I'm gonna do. Yeah, we could do like that. And we'll do one of the crops here, and then the other one is gonna be just in here somewhere, maybe. Or do I have a stairwell going like this? these aren't actually necessary for anything. Then we do like this and this and this. And we'll have a way up over here for the sake of having one. And the farmhouses just go here, right? That covers covers the whole thing. It's gonna cover everything. Perfect. Perfect. Same kind of thing here. Just for having ups.
We have the snow and the freezing. Maybe it's the type of sage. I, I believe it. Um, like our climate doesn't freeze very often. Um, we get cold, but like we get down to, we hover around freezing for a lot of winter, but we don't get really a lot of hard freezes. Um, it's just, it's just cold and wet, but not freezing cold. So a lot of our local stuff has a hard time when it does freeze. But even in like in a pot, like something that's freeze resistant will be more freeze resistant in the ground than it is in a pot, right? Because it because a pot has a lot more surface area on on the soil part. So it freezes a lot more like the, the ice will be much further down on the on the roots, right? Here we go. Um, we've done, we've, I, we've had two or three different rosemary plants and the, the most recent one I specifically picked uh, like a, a freeze resistant strain. What's the word I'm looking for? Cultivar. A freeze resistant cultivar has been doing a bit better, but we also haven't had like a real good freeze <laughs> to actually test it. But also the ground freezes here and it can be pretty deep. Yeah, like if all the plants are, are used to it, then it's going to be a lot more, a lot more reliable, I think. All right. Maybe the sage has run its root deep enough so that it doesn't matter. Yeah, probably. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, so I want sunflower and I want wheat. And the wheat is kind of the one that I care more about. So I think I'm going to have it be, on, be the closer one. I think this is all going to be wheat. Something like that. That's some wheat. That's quite a bit of wheat there. Um, so you're going to prioritize wheat. You're going to prioritize harvesting wheat. Of course, I want a spot to like actually put in to like dump water into this pool because this pool is now important. This is now something I care about. Oh yeah, we were in a drought. I didn't even notice or care. Look at him go! Look at him go! Uh, so I'm gonna want like a big storage thing for for the wheat here. Must like this. And then over here is going to be a big stockpile for... for the sunflowers. Oh, just barely not. They, they planted a lot of wheat very quickly. Okay, so we have 20 beavers. We have 20 open beds. Wow. We only have one working vacancy. We have one bot vacancy. Jeez. And we have, but we have eight unemployed beavers over here? My goodness. Oh, but now we need like we need to bring one more in over here. That's the main thing. The the, the robots aren't gonna replenish themselves <laughs> automatically. Yeah, so I want 
I want to maintain 30 here. And then here... We have 13. I want to keep 30 over there? What was I... What else am I doing? So the beaver bots are... Here, right? We have 10 here and we have 10 here. And then I think I also have them in here. My goodness. Um, but I'm also going to want them, like if we're going to do another district crossing over here, then that's, then that's a spot for them as well. Hmm. But even that being said, I am employing 30, right? Because two, two hauler stations and a crossing. And I still have six extra. Holy cow. Let's bring those six over here. Because there's that. And then we can say that this is going to be beaver bots. And then this... This will have be normal beavers. Oh, this is for wheat. No, that's roots. There, wheat. Okay. Can we still have two unemployed beaver uh, bots? I guess there's. I'm gonna do this, and then. And then there's a spot, there's spots there. Okay, cool. And we still have an unemployed beaver. Or bot, 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 bot. The beavers can be unemployed as much as they want. It's the, the bots are our resources. You need to, they need to work. Okay. And then as far as sunflower seeds go, those are... Like, you don't... Yeah, can be eaten raw. You don't do anything with them. I think... I think the wheat might come out... a little further, even. Like that. And then sunflower seeds will be the rest of this. <laughs> right, okay. So then you are sunflower seeds... You prioritize sunflower, you prioritize harvesting sunflower. Look at that. And now I can put in a little water thing. Fluid dump. Of course, it needs another <laughs> tile just for the half. That's fine. Then I'll put a water tank over here. There we go. Look at that! Look at that! I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. Like, look at this. We're we're good. We're we're just good. And we got we got space for more babies back in here. We have all this wood. We have a hundred wood and two, like three hundred water. And all of that is imported. Literally, all of that is imported. Looks awesome. It is awesome. I'm I'm very happy with this so far. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the restroom real quick, but then all we just gotta start uh, baking. Gonna start uh, making crackers and maple pastries.
I've returned. I've brought a creature. Are you gonna behave? Creature! I guarantee she's not going to behave, but we'll, we'll give her a chance. <laughs> um, all right. So it's gonna be a minute before we actually harvest any of this, right? Yeah, but that's, that's also fine. Leave my stuff alone, please. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have logs, right? So we're we're good as far as uh, baking goes. Um, and I think we're gonna do we're gonna do some stuff in here because we're also gonna want power, right? Because routing power over from here is gonna be difficult. I could do like a really tall platform here. I mean, I am making a lot of power here, right? It'd be a shame to not use this to its full potential. Even then, we're only just barely keeping up with demand. That's ridiculous. Okay. So maybe I won't leverage it too much more. Because we have plenty more cliffs over here for um, for batteries, right? We could put some we could put some batteries here. So then some some windmills up here, and then it would just be a matter of making sure power can get down. Because it's the millstones, right? The millstones are going to need power. Grist mills. And we're going to need quite a few of these, too. Maybe like four of them. say I'm gonna say we're gonna have a crossing here I think that makes sense to me Because then, because then it can go up, but then it can also come down this way, right? Like that. This is next like that. I mean, I think these are our battery clips. they can get that close. Well, that's fine. That seems to work. Um, and I'm just gonna do like this.
be a little easier to maintain access in here. What are you here? <laughs> Nothing to do in range. Hey, we finally finished this. Oh my gosh. We finally finished harvesting this metal. That means we've finished two metal patches, whatever you want to call them. I mean, we have a bunch of blocks, but now we're not getting any more scrap. Hilarious and kind of terrifying, but, but we can start over here, too. Because this is there's a ton there. Holy cow. Uh, we only have three unemployed beavers here. Towers. Yeah, I guess the, uh, yeah, towers, I would call them or ruins, I guess, is what the game calls them. But they're they're clearly the remains of skyscrapers, right? <laughs> we used all of those planks. My goodness. My god, the fact that we can just crank out robots that fast is blowing my mind. I guess we need three more here. From two to one. And then you, yeah, you just have three, three more beavers. Yeah, and two vacancies. Okay. Sweet. Did I... Nope. Cool. Well, then, where are we gonna put our bakery stuff? Like, we're, we're getting... Our, our wheat is going to end up here. There's going to be a couple of uh, warehouses involved, right? Because there's going to be the wheat. There's going to be the wheat flour. There's going to be bread. There's going to be maple pastries. I don't have to bring in maple from other, the other district. So four... What was our so wheat so wheat flour bread and maple pastries those are all gonna get like the medium sized warehouse do like something like this. of go on top? Not really. I mean, if I could get them to all touch each other, that would help a lot with, uh, with power, right? If I could get four in here, I guess that's... I really want that there. I don't, don't matter. Um, just put in just put in another warehouse. Why not? Hmm. 
and then is this gonna work? So we can we can get to that through here. Oh, could I have mirrored this? Can I, can I mirror? Nah, mirror everything. Yes. Yeah, I like that. And then they get up by. that oh no I did that wrong off by one there <laughs> that's kind of goofy um and then I think I want I think I want this to go away And that's that's four that's four mills. Um, we'll say that this middle one this will be for flour. All right, wheat flour. Um, the bakeries are gonna go that way, I guess. Um, so then this is gonna be bread. Um, this is going to be maple pastries. We're going to want a lot of, um... We're going to want several, several bakeries. Uh, but first, how do we power this? I think I can connect these two... Can I do... Does that work? That'd be awfully cool. I think that works. So now I just need to get power from here to here. And of course... Well, they're working on it. I was going to say we're not importing paper, but they're building it from District 2, so... That's fine. Um, yeah, I just want power... Well, okay, and here's a thought. This exists. And that also... Requ oh, those don't require power. I'm kind of surprised that these don't require power. Okay, well, then I won't go across. Um, we just need... So you know what's interesting is that houses actually transmit power vertically. So if I had houses that go up this cliff, I could plug into the top and then just take out from the bottom. How about that? Like we, that's gonna be a ton of housing. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to do some explosives. Maybe like just go down this way. 
Oh, we don't even have to go all the way down, right? We just need to get here. Let's say our end point is going to be here. Then, I mean, I could just do platforms, really. Fine. Does it fit? Does it fit? It fits. I, I like that. I think that works. I think that's going to work for us. And then... That's some construction. We have 80 robots. 80 robots. <laughs> My god. They're just they're just cranking them out now. There's, there's five vacancies here. Okay, so we'll, we'll bring in five to here. I mean, can I... There is there is automatic migration. Can I do... I want District 1 to have a minimum of 30. Does it is it just going to do that automatically? And then District 2... Or I need District 3 to have... Also, also 30? I guess how many how many jobs do I have here? No, just the... Okay. Uh, we have 24. We have 10 here. We have 10 here. We have 4 here. That's that's smart. Oh, we also have another crossing over here for that matter. Maybe I'll say this side is robots. This crossing will be less important, I think? Well, that's hard to say. A little water is going to come through here, probably. That still gives me a, a idle bot. But in which district? In this district. Okay, so then I should bring... I should send one back. Uh, from district... Three, two district two, one, one robot. Yeah. 
I'm going to say District 2 needs 24. And then we have three vacancies, which is going to be this. So that's fine. Oh yeah, now we're we're bringing sunflower seeds back already. Excellent. Look at this. Look at that. Gonna get a little water tank in here. Look at the sunflowers. That's cool. Look at all the wheat. Gonna be a lot of wheat. Oh, and then gears. Oh, we're not importing gears. I could have sworn. No, I said to import gears. We should have gears. How are we out of gears? How are we out of gears, fellas? Um... Because you should, you should be good on gears there. And then there's another gear shop down here. Yeah. Maybe I'm just using them too quickly? We used all our gears, apparently. Oh, look, a bad tide. Two bad tides in one stream. Oh, and we're gonna need contamination beer or no. No, we're fine. This will not be bad water. This will not be bad water. Okay. I was like, no, we need contamination barriers, but we actually don't. We're going to be okay. I planned ahead. Well, these are taking gears too, right? Yeah. That's that's where all our gears went. Oh, 20 apiece? Uh, so that's... Yeah. That's a bunch of gears. There's one gear there. Okay. And then all all those are gonna take gears as well. <laughs> Eighty unemployed beavers. Okay, hold on. There's I mean there's eighteen here, but we're also making more we're making workplaces for them currently. So that's fine. But like over here. We have 30 unemployed beavers in this district. And I don't know what to like I don't want to take out housing, right? That's antithetical to my goal. But what do I tell them to do? And clearly gears is a gears is a thing. I don't know if I could fit much more machinery in here, though. Guess we could go down here. This is our scrap pile. Oh dear. We've smelted all of our scrap. Yeah, what do I tell him to do? Put all the windmills. Is there more hauling that needs to be done? I don't... I mean, it doesn't even really look like it. There's sunflower seeds. I don't know. Because because the grilled chestnuts... We're just out of grilled chestnuts.
Huh. Taters. We should just do more taters. What I should... What I should do... Because, like, these trees aren't really crucial anymore, right? I'm not building much in District 1. We need enough fuel for, like, baking potatoes. But that's basically it. We could we could reduce our could reduce our tree farm here down to like over here. And then we could do more potatoes. Or more carrots even. But I wouldn't even necessarily employ more people. A whole another farm would employ full six people. I don't know. I think they're just gonna relax. Or do I just pop in a couple more gear... gear shops? Could fit there. Kind. This power could come back this way. Kind of. <laughs> no recipe selected. Oh, look! Wheat flour, please. Uh, you need to be next so that you can complete the chain. These are all going to be waiting on gears, right? Yeah. Okay. Is there more space over here? Because this has... There was, there was another 29 vacant uh, unemployed beavers over here, too. Okay, and I need to not forget about the bad tide. I got that one, I got that one. Oh, I need to do this one. Like, we're, we're full, right? Our reservoir is full. Close it off. It's full-ish. It is pure, though. Look how clean our water is. Except for this stuff. Ignore, ignore that. Has my thing been my thing's been broken this whole time? Hold on. My my internet must have gone out like right as I started streaming. And I didn't connect I didn't catch it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, well, that's that's been broken the whole stream. Whatever. The nine day bad tide.
We have... How many vacancies do we have? We have zero vacancies, but 21 <laughs> unemployed beers. Ugh. Well then... Do I... Do I... Like we need to make our own planks and gears and stuff over here. For, for that matter, we should have our own tree farm over here. Where the heck would that go? Now that we've used all of the green space. We do like over here. Or up here. Well, this is where the housing should have gone. That's a nice hillside. Oh well. We don't need a ton of trees. I just want enough trees to kind of help us with our construction. But that's clearly not the thing that's holding us up. Well, then let's just... I'm going to put in... I'm going to put in like a pair of lumber mills. On this side, hmm. Want to leave room for more, more windmills? I guess we can do windmills over this way. Like a pair, and then a pair of a pair of these. That's not really... that's not really convenient, is it? Now that they've instantly built it. I guess I would just power from over here. Let's do... let's... let's... Break all this up. over here. That. And then just power it like that. rather or the gears I have to go to sleep thank you for the stream have a good rest of your evening good night thank you uh, have a good rest of your night I hope you hope you sleep well um, I think I'm, we're just gonna ride out this bad tide and we'll probably be done um, but yeah have a good rest of your week Thanks for coming by. There we go. Here's some gears. Since we have beavers standing around, and all sorts of gears to be made. <laughs> Look at all that wheat. That's a lot of wheat. And then I'm going to want bakeries for bread and the maple pastries. So one wheat flour turns into five bread, but one wheat flour and one maple syrup turns into three pastries. So does that mean that the pastries are bigger than a loaf of bread?
<laughs> How does that work? How are you getting fewer pastries than loaves of bread from the same amount of wheat? Um, but I think we're just going to do that straight across, right? Why not? I'll say that these two are for the maple pastries. These two are for bread. And then we want to bring maple syrup over here. Oh, but that's going to be... They can't do it from from there. Uh, dang it! Because they're not even going to be able to. I got to take out both of these. Gosh darn it! There we go. Now rebuild those things. Like we're even powering, we're even sufficient. We're not even using our batteries yet. Very cool. And we're like we're doing, we're doing four bakeries worth of cattail crackers, and that's like. Plenty. These the chestnuts. Clearly, we need to be growing more chestnut trees, huh? They really like those chestnuts. Or at least they like the chestnuts more than we're making them. There, <laughs> there goes all that water. Yeah. Yes, I do. I kind of want to revisit what we're doing up here, don't I? We also don't need nearly this many berries, do we? The blueberries are, are strictly for herbalists at this point, and we don't need that many. And we are and we're growing trees down here anyway. What if I say that this is like the tree farm for District 1? I say that this is gonna turn into like taters. And then we'll we'll put in some pits for actually keeping all this hydrated year round. That's what we should do. We should do. Um, I wish I could like how I need to measure like how far does a does a pit hydrate? Like from here, this is going out like this far, right? And like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's say 12, a radius of 12. So if I put something, if I put a 3x3 three three here, I need something to help me, like, actually. I can't. Okay. Uh, so one, so three. So then, if we go from one, two, three, four, five, six, here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But so pit here wouldn't quite get all of this. Don't think. We could do like a pit out here. 
because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like maybe a pit here. Alright, something like that. Oh! Game. That is not what I told you to do. Thank you. Oh, and because it's because they're all dead, they're just gonna like instantly go away. Thanks, game. I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say all of this goes away. It's just a bunch of dead blueberries. But if I say we're gonna do a pit, I'm gonna go there. And then another pit over here somewhere. Maybe like in here. <laughs> they cleared that up fast. Holy cow. Yeah, I think, I think we need to. I think we need to keep this plateau hydrated. Then, same kind of deal. Lo-fi attack on Titan is sort of weird, I guess. Is that what this is? I still have, I still haven't actually seen Attack on Titan. It's probably some, probably one that I should watch. All right, this is all gonna become, um, this is all gonna become not, not trees. Um, so I'm gonna say, I just do this. Yeah. So we'll we'll harvest these trees, but we won't plant more trees here. I have not finished it. It completed, didn't it? That one that's one that's done. I did hear some people kinda griping about the ending, but that's everything. Um, so this forester can actually go away. It is finally finished, yeah. How many seasons did that one get? It wasn't, it wasn't super long, was it? Maybe like five or something? It didn't, it didn't go forever. Oh, hey, look, there's already a pit here. Detonate. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and we got maple there. We're making maple pastries. We're making bread. We have so much wheat. We have wheat flour. We're eating the things, clearly. Are you... Oh, you're stranded. You stranded yourself. And you're... You're injured. Oh, we need we need beds. We need all sorts of stuff in our third district now. Uh, let's do like. Like that. Technically four seasons, but last season was floor split into four sub seasons. So they've released Attack on Titan, the final season, part one. Part two, not a joke, part three, part one, and part three, part two. I believe you. <laughs> I unfortunately believe you. Hey look, there's some there's some hydration. Really we don't even need this many blueberries. Our like we haven't had sick beavers in quite a while. 
like in the, the beginning, in the early days, we had all sorts of contam contaminated beavers, but that hasn't been such an issue. How's our reservoir doing? Oh, gee. We could feasibly go through our reservoir within a bad tide. We're gonna have to address that. I was I was kind of assuming that this would be like a a permanent solution to the water problem on this map, but clearly not. Clearly not. Well, this is all going. Do we still have? We still only have eight uh, unemployed beavers here. We have six. We have we have ninety five robots? Oh my god, that's a lot of robots. We have six unemployed robots, but they're all here. I mean, I could just I could straight up put them there. I mean, that works. And I mean, we have unemployed beavers, so might as well just fill that up. Um, so then if this is all robotified, then it should have the robot things, right? It's going to be fuel and catalyst and punch cards. <laughs> They're all just milling about. You need you need stuff to do, don't you? Let's at least get like a campfire. It's ground only, it's ground only. I could get it in here. like a rooftop terrace. And we have plenty of rooftops. What's the question of what's going to be convenient to get on top of? I could do a stair here, right? We could do Doot. and that.
Building needs water. Oh, yes. Of course you do. Oh, and we should put a pit down here somewhere, too. Like, this isn't going to hydrate all the way out there. Okay, there's the end of the bad tide. Let's get all this back the way it goes. This is look at that we we're actually em, we're actually empty we actually can't because like there's one more level but we can't actually reach it with our pumps because i because i dug it one too deep we actually we went through our entire reservoir in, in like nine days now we have to wait for for this to clear out before we can actually get more good water in there Wow. How about that? Or do you? Oh, look, you got stranded. You both got stranded. That icon is ridiculous. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna put more houses like up here, right? In theory. And then that's gonna be that's like gonna come from a craw. something over here. Like that. And then we would do like a stairwell like this. None of that is actually going to get my my <laughs> my stranded beer out of there, is it? Oh, but I want to do it like this. Well, that's a that's the mess I was looking for. Um, but yeah, none of that actually gets you out of here. Uh, let's just do. I'll just do that, and then that'll go away. But then same thing for you. good. We've definitely established ourselves a third district. There's a whole 250 beavers on the map right now. 40 of them are in here. We're hitting new highs for our, our well-being. Everything's great. Absolutely everything is good. Um, I'm going to 
gonna make sure that these are, are prioritized, I guess. Got out. And then you're you're good. Be free. Okay, good. Okay. I think we're good. I like this. I, kind of, I like that. I kind of like that. And now they're almost they're almost done already. See him working on it. I just want you to finish. Three more planks, that's it. There we go. Cool. I think we did good here. I think we did good. Cool. Um, I think we're gonna... We're gonna let's we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. This was this is fun. I'm this has been very chill, but that's also very good, right? Um, happy happy chill Monday. Happy chill Beaver Day. Thank you for the stream. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for keeping me company. Um, this was this is great. I'm I'm still like in Timberborn. We still haven't even tried Iron Teeth. We haven't even tried Iron Teeth yet. Today's episode is brought to you by Bees. All them bees pollinating all our crops. Now that we have all the crops planted, the bees are very, very happy. But also by you, hanging out, uh, lurking, chatting, clicking the buttons down there, all that good stuff. That's uh, that's what's pollinating, pollinating my flowers right now. Uh, so I appreciate y'all. Glad you're still enjoying Timberborn. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I am. I definitely, definitely am. Um, thank, thank you for telling me about this. I'm not sure that this would have been one that I would have found on my own. Um, so, so hearing someone enjoy it is always a good way of like going, oh, that sounds like the kind of enjoyment I would enjoy. So yeah, um, I am definitely enjoying Timberborn. It's a good, it's a good one. Um, I was also looking more at, um, against the storm. That might happen next. <laughs> that might be soon. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope you stay kind.